But we got it. We got off the plane. We have a fucking driver picking us up. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> yeah. We immediately. Well, what's up, guys? You First thing he up. says, he goes, you guys aren't one of them New York queers, are you? <laughs> <laughs> No, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got the sign. We get in his car. Within five seconds, he goes, it was made in a lab, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like he's right, this guy's right into it. He goes, it's all fucking fake. Well, I think we, got, we asked him about masks. That was the thing. He goes, do you want us to wear a mask? He goes, I don't need any of that gay shit in here. <laughs> It happened Kong quick. Kung flu, motherfucker. And I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So within 15 seconds, you go. <laughs> which is, you know, and no matter where, everyone tells you their opinions like they're like you already think them, right? Um, so Nashville in general, like Kid Rock, he's right. If you come here, he's like public enemy number one right now. Yeah. Everyone's yelling at him. Mm -hmm. And because uh, he's calling people a fag and shit at his shows, at and then he shows. doubled down. No, it wasn't even at his shows. It was at no, he did at his show. Oh no, that the main thing was he was doing karaoke. That's when he did it. Yeah, he was doing karaoke at some like random was he bar. Karaoke a Kid Rock song? No, I don't think so. And then someone was like filming him because they're like, "Oh, it's Kid Rock." And then he was all drunk and he's just like pissed off that they like just wouldn't leave him alone. I guess because he just even though you're like you're Kid Rock doing karaoke, what do you think's about to happen? Like you don't think this is like can a guy live? Yeah, you're like can a guy live? Like dude, you're a famous rock star yeah, like yeah, you get yeah. to do this in real life louis you ck to... shows up to the park and just starts telling jokes in a totally oh, oh yeah, yeah exactly. oh no i oh, can't just tell a few jokes to a couple yeah, friends can't just tell a couple yarns <laughs> yeah 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 and so anyway anyways and then he started michael calling jordan faggots, plays basketball at the local court totally He's dumbfounded that people yeah, want to watch yeah the, people want to film him you're like it's fucking like mj <laughs> playing ball and you're like oh come on oh man. i can't play can't i just shoot some i hoops? can't shoot around without <laughs> but yeah like um, the the funny part with the thing with him too is everyone was yelling at him. Uh, but if you look at the, it, so I looked. I, I like to watch the quote tweets when everyone's getting yelled at or whatever. And so basically, the main thing people were fucking saying like, oh yeah, that, that he grew up not poor. So he, like, he he said fag again, and everyone flipped out, and they go. And everyone was like, oh, says the guy who actually grew up rich. And they're like, this is his house. And I guess that was, and you're like, like anyone cares. Yeah. Like any like, Kid Rock weird... fans like, what? Yeah. So basically Kid Rock grew up like upper middle class and then he became a rapper in Detroit. And then he became, you know, the country star, you know, the yeah, nation's yeah. darling, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. America. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I like Kid Rock. Yeah. But and the, everyone was saying that. That was like the number one tweet was like, huh? Is You know when they you, they po you post something and then they post a tweet from before and they go, this you? you know <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This so, you? Yeah, yeah, totally like getting them. That's what they're saying. The they're gotcha. Going, you go, this your house? It was their big gotcha yeah, for him. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know what? It's for someone who says stuff and doesn't care and has no repercussions. They're like, they got to really scrape the bottom of the barrel to find like, oh, how could I burn him? And yeah, they like, thought that he's like, oh, him with he's probably fans. like, oh, you think that house is big? You see the house I live in right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking pool house. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, so true. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> Um, but he's got a fucking eight story bar. He's got everything's Kid Rock, you know, everything's Kid Rock paraphernalia. He's got like a football jersey with with rock on the back. Yeah. And, and he's got to sell his own too. beer there. Like he's living the life there. And apparently he just comes to clubs. And, Nash and Nashville isn't so young. So he's still like crushing just fucking MILFs, yeah, probably. Probably. You know what I mean? Like 35 year old hot. Sure I'm sure he does not get anybody over 30. Yeah, I don't know. You think dude. kid? You think kids? I think he's. I bet you he takes the, like the hot thirty year olds. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't think he's fucking scraping the twenty year olds. I think. I think he likes. I think he likes a little bit just, of wear on the tire. He's an he'll American just, boy. You ever like think, some stretch marks? <laughs> you ever think he'll just like bring up back like an entire bachelorette party? Because it's just nonstop bachelorette parties down there. Possibly, yes. Well, he goes, come back to fucking kid, yeah, kid come Manor. back to Rock Manor. Yeah, yeah. I think I. I think Kid Rock is just out there slaying. He just he just walks around doing cameos. Like they live like kids at camp mm -hmm. in, in Nashville. But uh, the which I think Nashville was very fun. But I do think I Dope agree City. with the hipsters that you, every town has their hipsters where they go. It ain't that great. Mm -hmm. But I think I agree that it's very corporate. They go oh. if you want the real shit, you got to go to like Memphis. Yeah. If yeah, you want yeah. the real shit, you got to go to New Orleans. Every it's a very it's very corporate. Every place is the guy playing. It's Pour Vegas. some sugar it's, on me. It's got like literally like Vegas strip vibes. Vegas strip vibes. A lot of people playing. Pour some sugar on me. Tennessee whiskey everywhere. Although Most the bluegrass band we saw was dope. 
I really like them. All the girls. Well, we, the, we these, everyone's super talented. No, no, but that bluegrass it's band. The they best were, of the I, best. I don't know if they were playing originals, but they were playing bluegrass. The, you didn't. They weren't one recognizable song unless you're like in a bluegrass. Yeah, but I think they it, weren't even playing Dixie Chicks. No, songs, they fucking which ruled. They you're right. There was a few, there's a few people that ruled, but that yeah. was also during the day. At night, they're playing the classic. Yeah, yeah, they're going. They were squeaking in some cool shit yeah. at the 4 p.m. No, set. they're the Kid Rock. It's like because it's an elevator. Every floor you go to, it's just like. New floor, same song. Like, yeah, it was. <laughs> new band. We would lit you. Floor, it was a band, fucking bizarro world because there's five floors at Kid Rock's bar, and you get on the elevator. It takes you down one floor, and you get out. The band looks exactly the same. The layout looks exactly the same. They're playing the song. The band. The song the band played two seconds ago. It's totally. You're like I just heard this upstairs. Groundhog Day. Yeah, they're playing Ted Nugent. You just heard it three seconds ago. <laughs> Fourteen years old. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Nugent. Um, one of the it was cool meeting all the all the fans like we basically sold out the show all the fans like hung out after and there was uh it was funny the me and Danny were walking around that strip and we're like fucking celebrities there yeah yeah but the one funny part that I was noticing was that everyone that uh that like likes us they're all fucking I, I maybe this is just like dudes and maybe I'm like this too probably and everyone's fans are a little bit like them kind of a little bit but there's there was so much of Every person was like wanted a photo, but they're too cool. So they go, I don't. Can we get like a? I don't know. I know this <laughs> fucking. Do we want to do like a photo? And you're like, dude, I took nine photos. Yeah, like, you watched whatever. me. It's like they, you're like there'll be a. I swear to God, at one point that we do like a line, uh -huh. so people they're like everyone do photos, so you do like a lineup, and every person who just waited in line to like do a photo. Yeah, I goes, know. <laughs> I I don't know. You want to do like a? I guess we could do like a photo. Yeah, I know. We saw you waiting, and I'm like, it's like literally that's why I'm here. It's too funny. But like we were like, we, it's not like you had some cloak or invisibility cloak. We saw you waiting. <laughs> but everyone's too cool for school. Yeah. It's, especially nowadays, it's the most normal shit to ask someone for a photo. Yeah. Like if you're fucking super famous, that's your whole day as people. The weirdest though was the guy at the photo. chicken place. That was funny. That guy was weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was nice, but then he kind of was, I because he started, he goes, how did you like, we're like greasy, like we're eating fried chicken at the yeah. Hattie B's place. And then he's like, hey, and he's like, how'd you get into comedy? Like, he's like, yeah. how do you start? And he wanted a handshake and we're eating Yeah, and we're like chicken. literally like just covered in grease. Uh, how do you get into comedy? Almost the, the funnier question. move though is, uh, in hindsight, is giving him the handshake. <laughs> really just fucking go, oh yeah, Freeze here you go. Up. Just like, just be like, yeah, here you go. How about this? We're just like <laughs> sliding all over the place. He goes, <laughs> he goes, yeah, but he goes, how do you get into comedy? I was like, who else would you ask that? You know what I mean? Like imagine you saw like a hockey player and you're like, how'd you even start playing hockey? Yeah. <laughs> It's just such a funny question. Yeah. It's honestly like, I understand the question. The venue for the question was so weird. We were, yeah, it like, was also strange it, there. Yeah. But that was not nearly the strange Like, imagine thing. Joe Rogan. You see him at a restaurant or something. You're like, oh my God, Joe Rogan. It's like, I love your shit. How'd you get into, How'd you get into podcasting? And you go, what? <laughs> yeah, it was very uh, strange. Dinner, like... But we had the weirdest one. So we'll tell this story. Um, and this guy was drunk out of his mind. Maybe he woke up in the morning regretting it, not to air this dude out, but it was wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we finished the show, and there's this comic, John Christ, who's like, he does YouTube stuff too. And there was a bunch of other comics that were there for the festival, right? Everyone with Theo Vaughn was in the mix. Like a lot, it was, a lot of people were in the mix. A lot of comics moved to Austin. To so, Nashville. So Nashville, yeah. yeah. So a lot of people live there, and <clears throat> so we finished, and and he's he's got he's got some bar where he's like, okay, you can guys can come in, and we have uh, uh, whatever free drinks up top, and it's like a rooftop and all this stuff. So we don't no, I, like uh, it was me, Danny, the two other comics. It's like okay, you know, we can probably a couple people, but so this guy that we've that we've never met, he he kind of comes up and he goes, I'm gonna come. And we're like, oh, okay, let me ask. And we kind of put it out there like, hey, could we bring some new people? And they're like, nah, there's no, it's, it's tight. Like, just come with comics. Like, if you mm -hmm. have an artist, we can kind of get you in. No, And I go, listen, there's no way. And he goes, you know what? I'll just try. Yeah. And then the, the funniest part, too, is he was doing that on me. And then I just kind of bailed well, on then, him. And then he yeah. kind of just like moved over to you. He moved over to me. But then he goes up to the other two comics that were on the show. And he was like, I'm coming tonight. And, and then the, the black dude was kind of like, he, <laughs> he's kind of getting fed up. He's, yeah, like, he's like, he's like, dude you're not coming or whatever. And then I kind of go over to him. I'm like, dude, I, I hate to like be this dude to you, but I'm like, they, no one at this point, you're not coming. It just yeah. ain't happening. Like we're going to this bar. If we go and you want to try to meet us there, that's fine. And he goes, you know what? I'll just get in the cab. Cab comes. He starts trying to get in the in cab. In the door. Yeah. And, we're and like then he sits in the front seat 
And then, first of all, you're not even supposed to be in the front seats now. And then he won't leave. And this went on for like 20 minutes until eventually the, you know, the guys who were with her like, get the fuck out of yeah, the right, cab. Dude, get out. They're like, we told him to go. This is the name of the place. If you can get in, get in. Like, you're just not coming in with us. It was us. hot girl behavior. This is the type of behavior that like a 10 out of 10 chick could maybe pull off. But even still, because the moment they were like so desperate to like, you're like, what the fuck's going on here? I mean, she wouldn't be in that situation. No, to begin no, we with. would be like, yeah, get it, it work. <laughs> People would have made it work. Come yeah. sit on daddy's lap. <laughs> yeah, it would have been like, no, we can't get her in. You probably send the photo, he goes, happen. we'll make it work. Yeah, that's probably as like fucking one of the dudes. But just like, like some super drunk dude that you don't know, it's like, people, a lot of people have a lack of the social cues yeah i'm the opposite i'm like if there's a little tinge yeah even like there, if, I'm like yeah no fucking like to way. a point where it's probably the other way where you go like they maybe do want you to come and i'm like i'm just gonna go home. well how many times when we first moved here when we didn't know people that well we'd be hanging with people and they'd be like oh we're going to so-and-so's house you should come i'm like ah we don't really know him i don't want to yeah. just you'd be like oh i'm bringing so-and-so and we never met yet now i'm at his i you know you don't yeah, want to be that want, guy totally such a strange thing to be but anyway yeah, that guy was, was that guy was weird <laughs> funny